All right, so since some of you thought I talked a bit long last video, this time I decided to keep it short, like 5'3 and 5 foot short. Oh, you're not from the US? My bad. I meant 16.1 and 15.2 decimeters. That's DM for short. Ladies, my DMs are open. Liu Xiaowen versus Mima Ito, 2018 World Team Table Tennis Championships. China versus Japan, two modern short slap shot queens collide. Best of five, here we go. But instead of highlighting one or two moments that changed the flow of the match or led to a win, I wanted to instead take a look at what makes their playstyle effective and how it sometimes struggles and highlight some key components. You know, put words to the things that you're seeing. So I've boiled it down to three main things. One, the speed of footwork two, the types of shots, and three, the degrees of commitment. These points can be used to expand on anybody's play, but we're going to apply it specifically to Lil and Ito here. First, speed of footwork. Now, I remember training in high school at some camps and watching some of the kids play who were on the USATT junior team, and man, do those kids move fast. Especially the girls, they all had this footwork pattern look super bouncy, and they'd be moving around all the time. At the pro level, the bounce is less pronounced to keep everything tighter, but where a taller player might opt to step and reach, you'll see Ito and Lil still jump into position with both Feet. Having shorter limbs means you have to cover more area with your legs, so keeping everything light, low, and loaded helps maintain your speed and explosivity. I mean, look how Liu goes for the backhand on the receive here. She jumps forward with both feet leaving the ground, then explosively jumps backward into position in two hops for her next shot. Compared to someone like Tomokatsu Harimoto, who's of average height and above average vocal strength for a male table tennis player, he just steps into it before taking the two same steps back out. And compared to someone on the tall end of the spectrum like Dmitry Ovitkarov, Ovitkarov? I, I, I can't pronounce that, the step instead of bounce becomes even more pronounced. This then ties into point two because your footwork determines your positioning and your positioning determines the types of shots that you can take. Lua and Ito in particular both go for very tight shots that are also very flat and Ito tends to be a bit flatter on the backhand in particular because of her short pips. It's actually interesting to see how this similarity play out in this match too because in this matchup Ito is definitely more of the aggressor and Lua ends up a bit more defensive. Okay, positioning. Both players tend to position closer to the table. For example, after a fast long serve where Ito's expecting a fast return, she sticks pretty close to the table to take the ball right off the bounce, whereas another player might still opt to back up for more space to play a bigger backhand. Even in an aggressive attacking position, Ito doesn't back up one bit, taking each shot as it's rising on the bounce and coming down on it, whereas another player might back up to give more space for a forehand. There's no time for big swings, and so their movements have very little windup and are initiated from the shoulder and elbow as opposed to a full body rotation. This of course leads to forehand slaps and backhand punches because taking the ball as it's rising means you're interacting a lot more with the ball's current momentum and spin. Flat shots can come down and across on the ball and can be easier to control when you're aggressing in this case. The benefits of this are they don't let the ball get too high where they simply can't reach without losing a lot of mechanical advantage. They give the opponent less time to react because the shots come back quicker and it requires less strength overall because you're driving the ball less distance and are using more of the ball's existing momentum as well. Combined with the explosivity of the footwork, all this leads to extremely efficient and compact energy transfer into the ball for each shot. And yes, I have a degree in physics. No, I don't remember anything from uni. But the third point is where Ito and Lil begin to differ a lot more. Ito, being more aggressive, tends to make more reads and anticipate more of Lil's shots and serves, whereas Lil tends to play a bit more reactively, which leads to our aggressor-defender dynamic in this matchup. Why is this important? Well, seeing as they have less reach than their average player, each read is much more committal, but combined with what we talked about before, it can lead to much greater reward. On this serve, Ito makes a big read that Lil is going to serve long to her backhand, and before the ball is even contacted, she's already taken her first step. And because she takes it so early and explodes through the shot, Lil literally has no time to react. But then Lil uses this to her advantage to close out this game. She shows the same shovel serve, Ito begins to move at the same point in the toss, but instead of serving it long, Lil serves it short into the forehand, and Ito is unable to recover in time to reach for the shot and plays an off-balance forehand off the table. Compare this to a player who has more reach, who also commits a lot to the forehand receiving the backhand side of the table, like Ma Long, and see how he's able to recover for short forehand returns. And you'll observe how much more commitment it takes for Ito to play that shot. Gamble big, win big, but also lose big when you're wrong. Lil Xiuen, though, takes the similar skill set and plays reactionary. Here, it looks like she plays a similar shot to Ito, but if you watch closely, it's actually reaction to the serve. But the tightness of her footwork and shot are enough to let her attack the ball, even on short notice, and win the point. More solid overall, more consistent, but you run the risk of letting your opponent control the points. Now let's do a quick comparison to someone on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Someone who makes the table look small but plays defensively. Someone like 
Vladimir Samsonov doesn't move as explosively, so he steps more than jumps. Can reach a wide angle, so he lets his wingspan cover more space from further out, which means he can take more time to react. And even when he attacks, he uses the leverage of his elbow to whip through the ball more instead of punching at it. So if you ask me if size matters in table tennis, my answer is of course yes, but only because it changes the way you have to play. And even then, there's a lot of variability and uniqueness to each player's playstyle. And in this case, Ito's aggression pays off in the end with a big win over Liu Shiwen in a nail-biting game five set that went to deuce in the last game. As a quick side note, most of the counter examples I use are from men's singles because the height and wingspan difference are much more pronounced, so it makes my points more clear. You'll see similarities for women who are taller than Ido and Leo though, so don't at me in the comments.